and this will load up the editor uh, for UDK. So I'm just going to go to my content browser and essentially what we're going to do is just right click anywhere here uh, where the gray area is and just look for import. And browse to my desktop where my rainbow car is and double click it and I'm going to change my package to rainbow car uh, rainbow car okay and I'm going to make sure I've got explicit normals selected and import materials selected here okay so this will bring in your smooth shade groups this will bring in your materials and just go import textures as well sorry and generate groups automatically so it puts in the materials and textures etc etc just click OK OK oh, this is not good I think I have something else called Rainbow Car let's call it Rainbow Car 02 because I think it's conflicting with my previous package OK for you guys obviously we have no Rainbow Car this should be fine alright so what I'll bring in is my diffuse, my normal, my specular, I combine it all onto a material and there's my skeletal mesh with it applied. It's so simple, so straightforward. If I double click on my material and you just click and what you do is you hold down control once it's yellow, highlighted and what we're going to do is drag it out to see if everything is being applied exactly. Oh yeah, it's, it's awesome. It's so good. This car is awesome. Alright, so let's arrange this out like so. And it's great. Loving it. If you hold an L when you're looking at the previewer here, you should be able to adjust the Yeah, so you can see the light going across the surface. If you look at the tire in particular, yeah, the normal map is working pretty sweet. Alright, so the normal map will show up very quickly like so. So close it. Apply changes, yes make any changes just save it and what I'm going to do is save this package straight away and where do I put it um, okay UDK my July UDK go to UDK game go to content go to UT3 I'm just going to check straight into the vehicles here I'm going to call it rainbow car I got one already let's just change it a little bit and this is going to be O2 UPK, make sure that's in there, and move save it away and save. It saves my package. Here it compresses the textures as well, and we're done. So what it will do will disappear out from the bottom there in my packages and should be up here somewhere. And you can see Rainbow Car 2 here. If you expand it, then put it into different groups so you can browse back and forth between it. All right, so let's select our skeletal mesh here. So just double click it and we'll get our skeletal mesh window or animation set editor. There's our sweet, sweet, sweet vehicle. I think it's facing the wrong way. Dramatic. This is always a pain in the ass. Damn you. It's facing negative Y. Alright. Anyway, let's uh, set it up. So first thing I'm going to do is set up my per poly bone collision so hitting the plus button here I'm going to chuck in the root uh, bone and then add parent to per bone collision bone which basically means I can add other bones to it so we've got a view here you'll see under my uh, collision box here that essentially root bone makes everything that's bound to it become the collision so I also want to put the wheels in there as well so front right tire and then just keep creating one, two, three, and what I just, just call this back right and paste back left and back front left and I've got two front lefts. So of these should be back right. Okay, whatever. 
Uh. <laughs> Back left. Okay, thank you. Um, right, so it's set up for collision. So we need to add a socket now for our camera. So I'm going to go new socket, attached to the root bone, okay, and call it camera as per my code, code sample, which I will link in through the YouTube videos. And you can see my camera shoot up now. So I'm just going to be the camera somewhere behind the vehicle. And the camera always looks down the x axis, so I need to uh, yaw it by 90 degrees. And that should be good. So close it, and close it, and save. So it's basically set up. So now I'm going to right click my schedule mesh and add a new physics asset. Just go up the base settings here, go OK, just go OK, and you'll get your fat editor. Uh, delete all these volumes out here. Um, it's never been really well explained on the tutorials why they do it on UDK, but essentially they say the weights, the volumes for this guy is determined from the size of the volumes here. What well, a weight is determined from the size of the volumes rather. So just selecting the root bone like so, go up here and add a box volume which adds two. And what you want to do is sort of move it a bit like so. And you want to scale it a bit. So it's not too big. And then maybe move it a bit more. And what you want to do is just put it around the main part of the body here. Grab in the next box here. It's going to move it out a bit. Can't really see it, but we'll scale it up. Zoop, and zoop. And zoop. That's pretty fat. Okay, and we'll move it up a bit. All right, that should do. That's your physics asset set up. So close it. File, save as. Alright, so we need to set up an animation tree now. So I'm going to right click and go new animation tree. And I'm just going to call this AT Rainbow Car 02. And there we go. So what I'm going to do is just select my Skittle mesh. I will go yellow. Bring this up. Bring this up. And what I'm going to do is preview meshes, mesh list here and add by hitting the plus button. And expand this to basically then load in my preview mesh. Alright, so what we're going to do now is start setting up the wheel so the code knows how to rotate it. So I'm going to right click my animation tree and go add schedule control chain. Ignore the root bone and we're only going to add the wheels here. Just go OK and just add all the wheels just straight off the bat. And go OK. And then I'm going to write add new skeletal control, single bone, and add a wheel control. And the uh, options for this, do it there the way. It's basically uh, we need to set up a few things. So, we've got wheel displacement here, which is a value which, if we just sort of get here and left mouse button, we can. I don't know if it's going to happen because I'm hooked up. So, let's hook it up to my front right, front left tire, so as we can see it. And this value you can see here in the window my wheel going up and down. So, essentially, what we're going to do is set the travel so maximum travel so that's probably about it so 15 so maximum wheel displacement should be 15 and then we can set this to zero here so it brings it back down now you can see the the axis there of the wheel so we've got the y z and x now the roll direction will be around the y so I need to change my vehicle roll axis to Y. And you can test the steering if you want. So it'll be in the front. And you can see it rotating. Sucks. So let's see about that. All right.